here we are our edem has started so some basic information for them first of all you need to register it for them you got the first week after the edem event starts to register your alliance it could be made by r5 or r4 in this option in season you could see this registration after that there's going about a week period till next monday when directly the atom starts so first of all you are on the basic state map and to enter them you need to push the button i'm already in the atom so i see the exit atom button to exit atom or to enter the same menu this is in the events reign of chaos and this is atom season so you entered the dam and after that your castle was somewhere randomly placed. You got, for example, four squares on those your castle stands. Uh, taking, uh, first of all, you need to create a guild. So your R5 or 4 creates a guild and you join it. It's like an alliance in Chaos. So all the squares are for all the guild members. After that, you start the same situation as the chaos. First week is usually basic week. All the castles are on the many points on the map. Because this is first season, we took agreement with all the other guilds uh, to have the first week free of the tax. What should you do? Taking tiles as usual and making structures. Everything like in Reign of Chaos, in Chaos event. So about specialization first. I have a lot of points of specialization. Entering first to them, it's really big amount. So most of you will have lower amount. If your R5 or 4 are experienced players, they could separate you to make a warrior team, a development team. So I'm just having started in development. What should we do? We should go to blue and go straight right to get a maximum loyalty for our legions. So plus 1000 and 200 of loyalty. There is a great difference in Chaos and them. In Chaos you have tiles in your state and out of your state. So you have a double amount of tiles to Adam. In Adam you have only one counter for tiles, so you would have two times tiles less. So you will have less resources. That's why it's very important to take high tiles as fast as you can. So you should do it and you should use this green line up to have additional production quantity, at least for products and for lumber and rusted ignots too, to have more resources. You don't have to make a lot of lines. I am under the season pass. I've bought the season pass that make me great advantages. You can see it in Season Challenge. So this is Privilegio, it has been bought. So I have much more production, plus one production line and uh, some advantages of Donate. If you don't have it, you should use in the beginning Reign of Chaos, Specialization, some line to the left to get at least one additional traditional quarry or two it would be best for free players so get as many tiles as you can and get as many resources and you could take you should evolute evaluate as fast as you can to build new camps for increasing your reality to take high tiles take high take high take high 
So now we're going to add a map. What do we have here? It's a big map. It's separated from the map of your state. It has another durability. You have one durability in your state map. So when you return, all your legion gets about a hundred of durability there and you could do everything in the state. When you leave the Edem, your castle uh, became transparent on a dam map as when you leave from state to a dam your castle becomes transparent on the state map but transport castle on the regular state map could not be attacked and your castle in the dam in transparent situation could be attacked but you will not but you will not get any losses but your castle would be dominated by some other guild or some other player so returning to them <sighs> the goal of the dam is to take prizes to get access to the temple but we are starting in south of the regions we have got south region so our players were separated in the beginning and now we need to go from one part to another part how could it be done? First of all, first object we need to take is bridge. Bridge has about, as you see, 20 thousands of durability. And as all other structures, it has two types of loyalty needed to kick it without any losses, poison losses. So you see, it has a rebel zeal of 200 and 2,700. After it has been beat at 10% of durability, you see here the green mark on the lion and other the red. Uh, you could uh, loyalty needed to kick it without losses will decrease. It will decrease about 30%. I will give a picture in the comments. So you could see it's not always 30%. To start kicking something on the map, you need to tile. So you see there is someone's tile. It could be our tile to start attacking the object. After uh, you took the object, it become saved for a day. There are three days in the week when we could take objects or retake them from other guilds. This is Thursday, Tuesday and Sunday. All the day. As I told, to take an object you need to tile there. That should be enemy tile to try to take our object. Our castles in a dam can be attacked. But they can be attacked only when they are tiled. So enemy should tile directly to your castle and only then he could attack you. Uh, you could use a shield. There is a, uh, an Adam time of type of shield. Look at it. It could be... It's in town buffs. This is the castle shield. But ne these need to be charged for one hour and only then it gives you protection for seven hours. It would go automatically, so when you start charging, you couldn't do anything in the dam. Any squad or legion going out of your castle will break the counter and you should stop, start it again. So everyone's castle can be dominated. You see, this is transport castles, they are out of the dam. They could be taken by enemy, but no losses could be hard to them but they would be dominated and after returning to them you should spare some resources or ask your teammates to free your castle. Uh, to free your castle you should make an action. You should take a scout and scout some castle to make your castle be able to rescue. Rescuing is like attacking a castle. You will lower the durability after it was taken and after it drops to zero you have your castle freed and you can act again very important part of the dam is the teleports you couldn't teleport as usual 
you should build a teleport pad. How could it done? This is the teleport pad. It's already built. You need a square requires 2x2 under your control and only then you can build the tab. It uses some resources, 10,000 of stones uh, of Adam and 1,000 of stones that could be bought in the Alliance shop. So after that you build this teleport table and it took two hours without any discounts. About one half, one hour and 36 minutes if you bought season pass. So after it's complete you could teleport where? You can have only one teleport at one time. You couldn't build next. Until you drop these you could cancel it, abandon, see it, and only that you can build other one. I advise you to have teleport in safe zone from the enemy any time you play. As you teleport it to new place, you should immediately start taking uh, tiles to make a teleport in another zone. Or if you already have them, you should start immediately making a new teleport. I advise you to exit them anytime you are going off the game. This would save a lot of your forces. Even if your castle is dominated, it's not a problem, your losses are very weak. But if your castle would be attacked while are you away, that would bring you a great losses. You should a great amount of army for them and it would be destroyed and moved to the show to the Adam mm. see it's rain of shells to the Adam healing camp a very important thing you should kill Wraith Knights on the state map you should take a five minutes attack like on giants and only one player should join you for help so you need 20 durability and he need 20 durability to get a box this box is given to all the alliance and would give you one green bottle so you need a plan to take these bottles as much as you can these bottles will greatly help you to heal for example I can kill them, kill the Brave Knights two times a day when I have full stamina, full durability uh, of my legions. And I have four legions, any of it, it takes 20 stamina, so 20 attempts. So it will give all the Alliance 20 bottles, plus one, someone would help me, and I could do it two times a day. So 20 bottles for Alliance from every player. If at least 50 players do it, you'll get 1000 bottles every day. That's four days heal. And you need it. That should be done, must be done, to give a great heal component to your guild but it's it work only inside your alliance not inside all the guild next we I told you about the objects on the map teleport pads bridges and very important thing here we go to the cities to take the city first of all you need to take districts around the city there are eight districts after you take a district, it has just about 3,000 durability, uh, you could get access to try to attack the city itself. You have a defense of 5 minutes when you take regular tile, it has 500 durability and 5 minutes defense from attacks. These districts have 3,000 durability and two hours. So you get two hours to get the main town. You should use you should use flags these and these, this source of all, to reduce uh, stamina needed to take from 10 to 5. So you could make 80 attacks 
not 40 as usual full four legions with 100 stamina and five per attack so 20 x4 you got 80 and this gives additional demolition power plus 10 percent this is very important too so first taking one district is no if no enemies are nearby and taking all the districts if any enemies nearby any structure has its own durability this large town is great and have 3.5 million points so as usual you need to break first 10 percent to reduce the basic durability of 5600 to as i remember 4000 you will see them in the table i will i will add to commands so every half an hour any object regenerates 10 percent of its maximum durability so if you don't hit and destroy this object this large town during first half an hour from first attack it will regenerate 10 percent you should remember it so i think that's all about the basic information if you have any additional questions, you could ask them.